Get the hell. I don't want this. This is your place now. It's what your father wanted. And I know he had good reason. How much is the club owe? About a million before taxes. What? It's the Guma. It's on TV. It's the minstrels. All down the drain. Thank job. <laughs> Back in business. Why are you asking me all those questions about the bank? The walls of the safe is five inch thick. Oh, hello, the Umbrella Man. I see you there representing. It's, of course, uh, that's the name of the film set to screen, by the way, at the Toronto International Film Festival next month. It's directed by John Barker, starring beloved local actors, and it's a highest comedy set in the culture-rich book-up area of uh, Cape Town. I'm sure you spotted a couple of familiar places. Let's find out more about the movie uh, from director John Barker, lead actress Shamila Miller, and producer Tsepiso Piri. Welcome. Thank you for joining me. Hey, Hi. thank you for having us. I'm excited. I mean, the visuals look great. The, the tease, definitely, everyone needs to uh, get their eyes on seeing it. But if you're in Toronto, you also get a screening. Uh, let's yeah. talk with you, Tepiso, about what this movie actually is all about. <laughs> this is a scary question for me. Yeah. Uh, Do you want me to take it? <laughs> you can take it. Okay. Um, it's basically about a group of uh, musicians who fight to save their nightclub. Right. Uh, the nightclub's been threatened to be taken away, and without the nightclub, they can't pay for their minstrel outfits and for the end of the year for the carnival. So they do whatever's necessary to save uh, the nightclub. And it's all set in the book, book carp. It's very beautiful. Yeah. It's a comedy. It looks gorgeous, as you can see. R right. <laughs> well, at, well, I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean <laughs> the graphics behind us, but also Shamila. Shamila is also gorgeous <laughs> and talented. So, I mean, how was it being part of the, the film? Funny as well, I'd yeah. say. Honestly, it was it was so much fun being a part of the set. Um, yeah. The crew, the my, my co-stars, we worked so well together, and it, it was just it was, it was a fun, happy set. Yeah, the chemistry it was, great. was amazing. I'm yeah. sure they were so cool together, off right. set and on set. They were brilliant. I'm sure yeah. it didn't feel like work. It was just like okay, let's come have some fun. It on set. Yeah. literally. Um, um, and we, we all stayed together while we were shooting, so mm -hmm. we, you know, had this little rapport, and um, and we're great friends actually. So oh, man. yeah, the chemistry is great, and you can see it on screen. Yeah, yeah. and yeah. I'm sure the bug has been hit internationally. We're seeing here on our visuals Toronto International Film Festival Ooh. next month. That's the date. <laughs> so, so I mean, t take us through uh, how you got to a point where by now you're showcasing to the world. Well, I mean, it's taken John 15 years to get here. Phew. And uh, <laughs> when he came to yeah, us, he Really said, bad writer, 15 uh, years. No, 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 great writing. <laughs> <laughs> this is a labor of love. This is filmmaking. Mm. Um, and we made the film, and we looked at it, and we thought, well, we think it's got international legs. You know, it's yeah. a local South African story, but really has a global appeal. Right. And, well, we sent out to various yeah. festivals, and Tiff called and said, Hey, you're in, and yeah. it's it's just really amazing. And it's amazing for John. It's amazing for the yeah. cast, and mm -hmm. and everyone that was involved that uh, we being recognised in this way. Right, but it's not only Toronto where you showcasing, right, John? Uh, anyone locally can also get to see the film. Yeah, I mean, we were so lucky. I mean, like Tepisa says, it's mm -hmm. been going for 15 years, and I was trying to make the film for 15 years, and sure. uh, last year during the pandemic, we were cancelled again with a, with a particular funder. And someone said, go and see Joel Perry. Uh, went to mm. see Joel. And three months later, uh, we were on set shooting the film. So yeah. it took forever. And if it wasn't for Joel coming on and Tapisa and Dan and KE, they brought uh, Evod onto the project and mm. suddenly it was made. So I struggled for so long to make it, but these guys have been fantastic. Oh they goodness. made it. Now we're on Evod, and uh, thank you to you guys. It's, yeah. it's amazing to have you as partners. Really, really cool. Right. Are we allowed to say we're on Amazon Prime? Oh, well, I'll be your eyes. Good, uh, good. Uh, good. 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 It's set in this cultural setting um, of the Cape Flats mm. where, you know, people are struggling. Yeah, it's with, family and it's about with, gentrification. With gentrification yeah. and, and exactly, and, and living in the Boer Cup and all the, the struggles around that. Yeah. And um, instead of the film, like, focusing on, mm. you know, it being a struggle story, it's just told in a different manner and told in a much more playful manner. Yeah. But at the end of the day, it is about these group of people 
that are, you know, in a sticky situation, need to make money and need to get out of the, you know, situation that they're Absolutely. in. Absolutely. Yeah. And, 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 and why the resilience, Tepi? So because John did mention that it took, you know, 15 years, COVID then happened. Uh, but of course, you didn't waste time uh, in joining in, you know, as partners. What was it about this film that, you know, made it special? Well, who doesn't want to work with John? <laughs> <laughs> no, well, I, I think that, in fact, quite funny enough, a um, couple of years ago, John and I met at, at the Durban Film Festival, mm -hmm. and I said to him, when are we going to make a film together? Yeah. And, yeah. And, actually, that was, and that was like three, four years ago. Yeah, really? and that was before yeah. lockdown. I went past, they were having a party. They looked very rock and roll. <laughs> and, <laughs> and, <laughs> and I walked past my friends and I was like, hey, man, why am I not invited to that party? Yeah, yeah. And Seb said, we better make a film together. So, yeah, we are. So, yeah, so, and, and I think, as, as you know, uh, to what you were asking, Shamela, it's also family values mm. and, and, and just like community and, you know, that whole village right. vibe going. Yeah. And I think that's what made us get involved yeah. because it, it brought all of that, you know, yeah. uh, we're friends. Yeah. Um, family we're, vibes. Uh, love family things. vibes, yeah. yeah. And the name, the Umbrella Men? Well, we had to choose something fictitious because all the troops have, have specific names, so you couldn't name an existing mm. uh, troop, so we chose the Umbrella Men. Visually, it's very beautiful. We love your reception. We walked in and it has the umbrellas all up in there. Right? Awesome. Yeah. Very yeah. cool. The We're theme. taking those umbrellas to Toronto, by the way. <laughs> You're taking them away. <laughs> <laughs> We're taking all hundred. You're <laughs> taking them away from us. So definitely, I mean, uh, this is definitely uh, showcasing at the Toronto Interna International Film Festival from next month. Uh, you can also catch it on EVOD, on Amazon Prime, as you also mentioned. Uh, let's talk about what anyone can expect. I mean, so if someone's like, hmm... What can I expect? Am I laughing? Am I crying? Am I, uh, am I intense? What, what sort of the mood that you're expecting from your viewers uh, here, the engagement, the feedback? Well, we hope people enjoy it. We hope it's entertaining. That's the point. Um, exactly. It's a, it's a genre film. It's heist and caper. So it's comedy, but set in South African comedy in yeah. the Boer Carp and the Cape Lake community. A uh, very specific uh, sense of humor. It's fast paced. It's about a group of guys who are not necessarily the A team and bank robbers, but in maybe the C or the D team. Mm. So there's a comedy in them. <laughs> they need, they're like musicians, right? They're trying to rob a bank. Yeah. So there's comedy. There are issues we touch on which are quite serious. Yeah. But we do wrap it up in comedy uh, and make it very entertaining. And hopefully it's a, yeah. a, it's a film for the family and everybody. So. Listen, John, I can tell you we need a laugh. After everything we've been uh, through as a country, exactly. as a yeah. people, as the yeah. world, as yeah. we, we need, need this yeah. laugh. We, we need, need this. We so I encourage everyone to get the, themselves out and watch this film. But thank you so much. Thank John, Shamila, Sipi, so thank you for joining us. Thanks for uh, having this us. And congratulations, of course, thank with you all your so success much. and milestone. Screening at the Toronto International Film. Make sure you do watch uh, The Umbrella Men's. Uh, of course, I'm joined by John Parker, Shamila Miller and Sipi Piri just teasing us about what to expect from the film.